In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. place your rosaries on the altar during Mass, we'll do that. We'll have a blessing of the rosary in the homily, so if you don't want to bring up your rosary, just uh, you can hold them in your hands as we do that blessing, okay? And take your time coming up. If you do bring it up, don't forget your rosary after Mass, and then make sure you grab the right one. Okay, thank you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up into heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is now Jeru near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Be the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Almighty. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. For he has looked upon his holy servant, his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Almighty. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. 
the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. Behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David, David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. What a great day. I love this day in the church liturgical year. Uh, today, the Universal Church is celebrating the memorial of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. I love that title, Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. So let's take a look at the readings uh, this morning that the church has selected. The first one from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1. A, uh, we uh, understand the ascension. We're hearing about the ascension of Jesus into heaven. And now he is seated at the right hand of the Father and intercedes for humanity, for us. He's doing this right now. And then the apostles after this event, the ascension, what they do, they return to the upper room with Mary and they pray. This is the third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon them in the upper room. St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 1. We have the privilege to read the Annunciation. This is the first joyful mystery. These readings this morning teach us that the most holy rosary, all 20 mysteries, are scripturally based. They are tiny snapshots of Jesus and Mary's life, a story of salvation. We need to know it. We need to meditate on it all the time. This story of salvation is for humanity, for you and I. So we are encouraged to reflect on these beautiful mysteries as we pray the Most Holy Rosary every day. Um, oh, always carry a rosary with you in your pocket. Do we have, oh, we got a few up here. Okay, you've been carrying your rosaries. Um, no, don't do that. Don't carry one rosary. Carry two rosaries. The one you'll be praying and the extra one, you'll give it away. To someone who needs it. You'll know when the time is right. You may never give it away. I always carry two rosaries with me, one for each hand. Who was it? St. Padre Pio. If you look at some of his pictures, he's always, he always has a rosary in his hand. He was always praying the rosary and still doing uh, his ministry, everything he was supposed to. I can't remember if he said he prayed, I don't remember, either 40 or 60 rosaries a day. It's something like that. I can't remember how many but he constantly prayed the rosary. Okay, pray the rosary. Not one uh, rosary, but two rosaries, uh, always uh, in your pocket or in somewhere close that you can give it, give it away. So let's take a... This is historically based. I was quick reading this morning. Um, there is, this is the history of this particular memorial of our uh, Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. It goes all the way back, 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 back to 1571. Uh, that, uh, at that time, the greatest and largest naval battle 
in the history of Christendom occurred. Uh, a small little fleet of Catholics, of Christians, opposed a massive, large Turkish navy, determined to dominate the Mediterranean Sea and crush Christendom. Uh, the battle was bloody and intense. The Turks suffered large numbers of dead, so as many Catholics died too in the battle. But the Catholics won. They won the battle. That seemed almost hopeless. It was, uh, the, the odds were stacked against the Catholics. Uh, even before this, Pope St. Paul V instituted, insisted that his soldiers pray before the battle and then also to fight under the Catholic banner. Uh, he also insisted everyone pray the Holy Rosary before and during the battle. Uh, it paid off. He proclaimed the smashing victory to the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother, uh, Mother of God. So he established this particular memorial of our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary in the year 1571. If you have a chance today, type in this. Uh, our Lady of the Holy Rosary, or maybe type in uh, Pope St. Pope, uh, Pope Pius V, and just read about This is a fascinating uh, what happened in, during, before, during, and after this particular battle. Uh, oh, and I also read, this is interesting, we have what, 20 mysteries, right? No, yes, we do have 20, ministry, 20 mini, uh, mysteries. I hope I get this right. Uh, one of the authors wrote that out of the 20, oh, I don't know if I get this number right, it's either 13 or 15, I think it's 13 of the mysteries involve Mary. So this is important to reflect on uh, the mysteries. Now I just want to uh, give you uh, three examples to listen to what authors have written about the Most Holy Rosary. There's a lot here. So we're going to look at three before we do our blessings of the Rosary. Um, I'll give you the, the, uh, the reflection. <gasps> guess who it is. You have to guess. Okay, let's do the first one. The author writes, To pray the Rosary is to hand over burdens to the merciful heart of Jesus and his mother, Mary. The person who wrote that is Pope St. John Paul II. Okay, these are, just, these are always fun to do. And powerful reflections. Oh, this one. Let's see, I've got to get this book here. Okay, this is an interesting one. You'll know right away who who's wrote this. Um, the author writes, The rosary is a great test of faith. What the Eucharist is in the order of sacraments, the Holy Rosary is in order of sacramentals. It's the highest sacramental we have. The mystery and the test of faith, the touchstone by which the soul is judged in its humility, the mark of the Christian is the willingness to look for the divine in the flesh of a babe, in a crib, the continuing Christ under the appearance of bread on the altar of sacrifice, and a meditation, and a prayer on a string of beads. On a string of beads. Guess who wrote that? It, uh, the author is Venerable Fulton J. Sheehan. Does that ring a bell? I love listening to him. I could listen to him all day. Let's see. Oh, last one. Last little uh, reflection. Um, yeah, let's do this. Uh, the author writes, I could conquer the world if I had an army to say the rosary. I could conquer the world if I had an army to say the rosary. The, the author who wrote that is Blessed Pope Pius IX. So let's do our blessing, our rosary blessings. If you have your rosary, uh, just, I'm going to grab mine here. If you have your rosary, just hang on to it. <laughs> oh, good. I'm going to grab mine. I always like to bless rosaries, and then we'll have our, all our rosaries blessed. Let's see. So let us pray. 
Almighty and merciful God, out of the immense love with which you have loved us, you will that by the power of the Holy Spirit, your Son, Jesus, should be born of the Virgin Mary, that he should suffer death through the cross and rise again from the dead. Lord, send your many, many blessings upon all who use these rosaries to pray with lips and hearts in honor of the mother of your son, Jesus. Grant that they may be filled with an enduring devotion and at the end of their days be led into your presence by the Blessed Virgin Mary herself. Isn't that going to be great? Those last 60 minutes. This is what the what Roji, the power of the rosary can do. Our Blessed Mother will come. And even if we uh, have a rosary, what she's going to do is grab it and to lead us into heaven. Almighty God, bless you and your rosaries in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So, Father, why in the world are we doing this today? All you did was talk, 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 talk. Why did you do this? What, what is it about the Holy Rosary? It's powerful. We haven't even tapped into it yet. We don't know. It. We probably will never know until we get to heaven. And our Blessed Mother will uh, greet us. She'll have a beautiful bouquet of roses. The most beautiful bouquet we've ever seen. The colors dazzling. Red, yellow, white, pink. And then she's going to, and we're going to ask her, what's with the, ro uh, uh, what's with the bouquet of roses? And she's going to explain to us, this is a spiritual bouquet you gave to me every time you prayed a rosary. She won't forget this. She'll never forget it. When you pray a rosary, you honor her, you give her a spiritual bouquet. So we do this because we become, we not only pray the rosary, we become living rosaries. This is important to understand. We be, just like we become a Eucharist, we're Eucharistic disciples of Christ. We're baptized disciples of Christ. We're also disciples of the rosary. Because we do this, because we become living rosaries. We become an army for Mary, an army in the world today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Phew, that was a lot of stuff. Keep praying your rosaries. That's the main thing. Okay. <clears throat> Together we stand. Mindful of our needs and those of our neighbors, let us present our prayers to the Lord this morning. We pray in this month of October for the gift of life from the moment of conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray, ask God for the grace, uh, for the, a deep, deep devotion to praying the Holy Rosary every day for the rest of our lives that we become living rosaries. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray for all the victims, our brothers and sisters in the, in the hurricane as they're rebuilding their lives. Uh, we ask uh, Americans, we're going to be so generous. We'll help maybe donate ten, fifteen dollars to like Red Cross or Catholic Relief Services, other services that'll help them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the church, may the Holy Spirit grant her fortitude to remain steadfast in proclaiming God's truth in word and action. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who hold elected office. May the spirit of justice and mercy guide them in governance as they um, do the work of building up uh, life, recognizing the dignity of life, and then also the hard work of building up peace, especially in the Middle East. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all of us gathered here this morning, may the Holy Spirit guide us in all we say and do and become living rosaries in the world today. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all who have died and all those who will die throughout this week. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and just in the quietness of our hearts, our own personal prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father this morning. Oh, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and we pray our Mass intention this morning is listed for the intention of Steve and Joyce Myers' family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Merciful God, we present to you our prayers this morning and humbly ask you to grant all that is good through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring today, and so honor the mysteries of your only begotten Son, Jesus, as to be made worthy of his promises who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thank thankful him of praise for truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid you gave us through her the author of our salvation your son jesus christ our lord so through jesus the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever May our voices, we pray, join with theirs this morning in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Uh, let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be
Let us pray. We pray, O oh Lord, our God, that just as we proclaim in this beautiful sacrament, the Holy Eucharist, the death and resurrection of your son, Jesus, so being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. We have three beautiful blessings. After each one, we'll respond, Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his loving mercy. Amen. May he turn his countenance toward you and give you his eternal peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go and announce the living gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and be living rosaries out there today. Don't forget your rosaries, or make sure you get the right one. Yeah, got to grab my stuff. Imagine.